Hi guys, I'm Kelly Harris, Global Director of Training for Lake Country Manufacturing. Very, very short snippet video just to help you understand how long they've been making polishing pads or buffing pads. In the very early 80s, they created their first formulation of foam pads for buffing, for polishing. Before that, it was actually known for making just wall pads. So we're talking 70s, 80s, and then in into where we are now. So we're talking, you know, over 40 years really of making pads. So you've got your traditional wall pads, you've got your classics here, they call them the classics or the CCS range that some of you may know. Then we step into SDO, HDO, forced pads. Then we have specialist microfiber pads as well. And lastly, along here, we have the mini pads. So they're the mini pads, one inch, two inch, three inch pads of the same foams and technology here. Let's talk about the extensive range of wall pads that Lake Country Manufacturing offer. We have steamed, we have unsteamed, we have low lint, we have twisted pile, there's many. Now, we at Lake Country Manufacturing have come up with a really great idea. We've incorporated wall with foam. So that means it gives this density so you can push and cut with it. It doesn't clog quite as quick. So let's talk about foam technology now. We've got classics, SDO, HDO and the force pads. What we have here is actually SDO and HDO. And then we have forced, but for the moment, I'm gonna talk about just these two because they look pretty much exactly the same. Apart from there's that gray sort of foam sandwich plate. So what's the differences and why? What we have with the SDO range, the standard duty orbit is your traditional old Porter cable, McGuire machines, there's many other machines on the market that everyone's familiar with and we all probably learned to polish with. They had an eight mil orbit and it didn't really cause any friction, internal heat issues to the foam pads. But then lately we've got 12, 15 and 21 machines. So that's actually a 21 mil orbit. So that orbit's very large. So it's a more aggressive action. And what we found was that as you started using these pads on the larger, you get that movement internal through the foam. So what can happen, and it happens with other manufacturers of foam, is it can degrade. So we instantly thought we need to respond to a, a phenomenon, which is pure physics. Having this very firm sandwich plate meant that the actual overall thickness of the foam was smaller. So that means you get less lateral side to side movement compared to this one. So technically they're the same foam on the face, but this has been engineered so it has less movement internally. So let's talk about the microfiber range we have. So we've got two ranges there. They are the same cut level, it's just preference to how you like your pad. Do you want to get into a sharp edge more, some tip, some flat. Those two look the same microfiber, but are actually a different pile. Plus, that's firmer and that's softer. That's much firmer. So what we have actually got there, and then we've got a very, very soft pad and a different microfiber on the face. So we've got three levels of cut there in a microfiber technology. Of course, they also make them in slightly smaller pads. Let's talk about mini pads, mini micro pads. So here at Lake Country Manufacturing, we have one inch pads, we have two inch pads, and we have three inch pads. And as you can see, We've got them in the various aggressiveness of foam pads. You can see but that how firm that is compared to how soft that is. One squash is very easy. So we've got um, a nice range there of cut levels in different sizes. And then we've even got microfiber. Tiny little one inch, two inch and three inch microfiber. By chance, this wasn't set up, we actually have a car that's probably gonna use those small pads more than any other production car, including your supercars and hypercars. And it's one of those. They're um, very, very tricky to polish. That lovely Land Rover there. And I'm gonna say, I'm probably gonna use nearly 50% of my polishing time, I'm gonna use this range compared to this range. Whereas generally on a car, it might be more like 80%, 90% of this and 10 to 20% of the small pads it would um, almost be impossible without compromising these edges really to go over this flat. I would always prefer to polish where I can flat 
where it just goes up and down the pad. And you can see here how that works. And you can, that was a one inch. You could go two inch or even three inch. So we have the microfiber range, we have a foam range, we have the different harnesses and density of foam, which creates different cut levels. What would we have done without these? Struggled. But now we have these perfect little pads to complement the big pads. It makes our task much easier. And here at Lake Country Manufacturing, we're here to help, just like I am. Hopefully it's been helpful. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.